only thing going back to governance that I would say about California, and a little bit the point of the book in terms of the big governance issue, is that you, California is a state that in its construction sort of basically says we don't trust government. Um, you need two-thirds. The governor needs two-thirds majority of the legislature to get anything big done. And remember, in the U.S., you've got sort of two dominant, well, you have two parties, but you have nothing else, really, Democrat, Democrats, Republican. And they sort of divide things up. To get things, so to get to anything big, meaning two-thirds, impossible. So how does California get governed? Through these initiatives. But these initiatives, as Nathan said, is, in theory, incredibly democratic, because everything can, you know, any of you, by the way, you don't have to be Californian. Any of you can put uh, something on the ballot, but it's highly, highly selective. It doesn't address all the things that are needed, whatever they are. Let's say taxes. Um, uh, uh, let's say infrastructure. Let's say education. So whatever ends up on the ballot is whatever people feel, you know, that they like to put on the ballot and can finance. And then these things get very much hijacked by special interests who want to promote, you know, um, no smoking or smoking or, you know, less taxes or more entitlements. So at the end of the day, the, in the name of uh, more democracy, you've got a, a system that uh, is highly selective in terms of what the big decisions are. Uh, it only happens periodically. Uh, let's say in general every two years. It's incredibly expensive to do. It's very narrow. Um, so it, it, there is no capacity to address the normal things that a government must address. Plus, you know, you've got a, a place in the case of California that has 38 million people. So how do you, uh, you know, deal with all these issues if you have to go to these 38 million people, obviously only a subset are knowledgeable and vote. So it's, it, it, it makes actually no sense. You've got to have a capacity in between to be able to make decisions that are important for the long term. That capacity today, frankly, doesn't exist in California. But I suppose you could say, going back to what we were talking about in Berlin, that in smaller countries, it, something of the kind can work, because we were discussing an example of Switzerland. And Switzerland, Switzerland's had, I think, 377 referenda. And they have been used as an active means of government in quite an effective way in a society which has held together in spite of being built through different linguistic pillars. So you probably can't generalize too much from California, or maybe it doesn't work in bigger, well, bigger I, countries. Well, okay, again, not to get technical, but Tony's right. Switzerland has worked pretty well, but the big differences, the California referendum system is actually a copy, bad copy of the Swiss system. The Swiss mm. system is a much it better was system. By it, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. The Swiss system is much more dynamic. And again it's technical. But if if let's say I put in uh, uh, something on the referendum, the Swiss system I mean, the Ameri well the California system is very simple. Whatever I put in is what it is. I cannot modify it. Even if after some vetting the unintended consequences that are very bad. And if they are modifications to be made that would help everybody. Well, I can't change it, and the vote is yay or nay, and, you, and even afterwards it becomes law, and there's nothing you can change. The Swiss system is much more practical and dynamic. If I put something on, the legislature is actually going to negotiate something with me, you know, that, that sort of allows for discovery to see what the consequences are of my measure. That's number one. Number two, the legislature can put up an opposing or, or a a different uh, proposal to mine, so that as voters, voters have a choice of three. They can say no to both, or they can say yes to one of the two, and they are on the same subject, but they're in essence competing um, proposals. So number one, the Swiss system is frankly friendlier. Number two, we, you're talking Switzerland, a much smaller country, pretty homogeneous, where people are very aware, let's say they're highly educated, you know, uh, compared to California, frankly. Uh, so you've got you've got an He's not running for office. <laughs> but it's exactly uh, just a real quick point. Exactly that deliberative element that makes the switch system work is precisely what's missing in the California system. Which is why it's so dysfunctional.